Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the LCSW Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back to Self Care Saturday. Welcome back to week 33 of our 2021 Wellness Challenge series. If you are new to the channel, if you are new to the series, I am a social worker that talks every week about self care topics, self care practices that we as social workers can use to improve and enhance our well being. So today's self care topic is going to be a brief one. Um, I'm going to talk about the importance of not neglecting our imaginations, not neglecting our creative spirits. All right, I know many of us are busy, you know, we're busy working our, our jobs, you know. Many of us are, are working multiple jobs as licensed clinical social workers, as licensed mental health professionals. I know guys, we're busy, we're working 40 hours a week, we're working 50 hours a week, we're working 60 hours a week, 70 hours, and on and on. I know, we're, we're all very busy, but we need to take time to take care of our creative spirits, to cultivate our imaginations. A wise man named Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than intelligence. Check that out. Imagination is more important than intelligence. So how can we do that? How can we take care of our imaginations, our creative spirits? Here's a few ideas that I, that I like to use. One of them is uh, visualization. And there, there are many ways that you can do that. Here, here's something that I did a few days ago, an example of a visualization exercise. I was riding my bicycle. I was just having a good time like I always do, but I still had some, some ideas about work in my mind. So, uh, and, and this, this wasn't the first time that, you know, I uh, just allowed my brain, allowed my imagination. You know, I just, um, I did, I did uh, like a, a visualization experiment where I just started thinking about the future, about where I want to take my, my job, where do I want to take my position into the future, how do I want to grow, you know, in the position. So I just started playing around with some ideas and you know what guys, I had so much fun with it and I just let my imagination flow freely that when I got back home from, from you know, uh, riding my bike. I wrote down the ideas. I wrote down the ideas and believe me, I, I came up with a really, really, really cool plan for uh, expanding um, and growing my, my position in my job. And you know what, as I was thinking about these ideas and as I was writing them out later on, it gave me so much joy. I was using my imagination you know, I was using my create creativity. And I think it's so important because when we do that, we get a second wind, we get this energy, we get this joy, we get this excitement. You know, and you, you, you guys know what I'm talking about because we did this, many of us uh, have this experience when we were children. When we were children, we were encouraged to use our imaginations and we had so much fun with it, you know. Um, we had so much fun with it. I know for myself, you know, growing up with, with two younger brothers and a god brother, you know, we used to use our imaginations and, and just had so much fun with it. So I think as adults, I think we should, we should continue that practice. And again, we can use, utilize our imaginations in all areas of our lives, whether it's uh, improving our, our professional lives, whether it's improving uh, different areas in our personal lives, you know, I think we should utilize our create creativity, our imaginations, and we should follow, um, follow those words of Albert Einstein. Imagination is more important than intelligence. 
All right, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you utilize your imagination, your creative spirits. Uh, and again, we can utilize different avenues to tap into our imagination. Some of us are, are artists where we love to paint or we love to sketch or draw. Some of us are creative writers. Some of us are poets. You know, some of us are poets, so some of us may tap into our creativity through writing poetry, or some of us may tap into our creative spirit through photography. However you do it, I think it's so important that we take care of our imaginations, that we cultivate and take care of our creativity. All right, I'm going to stop there, but I want to thank you all for watching this video. For all the social workers and licensed mental health professionals out there, Thank you for the work that you do every day for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.